Pirate Pony, it's LP Crystal Diamond here, and welcome back to a new video. Now, as you can all probably tell, things look a little bit different, and that's because I kind of have a new filming area. My old filming area was my fridge, which I had in my room, but it kind of broke, it's a long story. So, I didn't really have a proper filming area for a few days, but then I found some stuff in my room, this bit of wood, and I found a lamp, so I've kind of got a proper filming area now, I guess. Also, I am filming with my phone because it's kind of a lot easier to film with my phone than it is with my iPad. Because my phone has a lot more storage and because my phone is a lot smaller than my iPad so it's much easier to film with the lamp. So anyways, today's video is going to be a toy review. I haven't done one of these for about three months maybe. This toy review is going to be for the Mile of Pony, the movie all about Big Macintosh toy. Looking at this toy, we can see it comes with Big Macintosh, of course, and an orange comb. It's like we haven't got a million and six hundred of those already. So at the top of the box, we can see the Milo Pony the Movie logo. Then across the top of the box, we can see the pony and also all about Big Mac. And not for children under the age of three years. We can also see a picture of Big Mac in the MLP movie style in the corner. Turning the box around, we can see Big Mac on the back. And you can see his cutie mark through the packaging. I think that's to show that one side of the ponies is normal and the other has their um, picture. Let's get to opening. Ah, oh, my voice kind of went like, eh. <coughs> Let's do that again. Round two. Yeah, yeah okay. Let's get out. Let's get to opening. Ugh. So... The first thing I've noticed is that my Big Mac has a bit of a flaw. <laughs> I actually don't really mind that much because, you know, it's still a cool toy and all, but I just feel a little bit annoyed that my one has a flaw because of this. He has a flaw on his good eye. Why? Why couldn't it be on this side where the picture is? Why the good side? I'm leaving. No, I can't leave. I have to finish this review. To be honest, I actually don't really care that much about it. It's not really a big deal. So he came with this orange cone, but we already have about 1,600,000 of these cones, so goodbye. I literally think I lost it now. Um, nope, I found it. I found it. I can't get it though. Ow. Yep, yep. I got it. Ah, that was perfect skills. Looking at Big Mac himself, he's a really cool figure and it's really cool having a figure of him finally after about 8 years. I mean that mark on his eye is a bit irritating but it doesn't really matter. And I like how they did his hair as a mohawk, I kinda like it to symbolise he's a male but then it- I'm sorry Tempest! I'm so sorry! I'm not calling you male! Anyways, I think it's kind of nice that they made a mohawk for him but then I mean, yeah. His cutie mark is really accurate to the show and he looks pretty accurate too. His tail and his mane are like a light orange like they are in the show. And on this side you can see him and Sweet Apple Lakers and like a sunset type of scenario. Yeah. So he's a pretty cool figure. I really do believe that this toy is worth buying because, you know, it's Big Macintosh and you don't really get many male ponies. And I am on the hunt for Soren, but where I live I can't find him anywhere and I don't really want to buy him on eBay because I would like to get him in box to review him. And on eBay I can't find him in box for a cheap, reasonable price. So I'm going to have to wait until he comes into my stores and if he doesn't then I'm going to have to just buy him loose on eBay. So I really hope you all did enjoy this I have no idea what this was review. I mean all about Big Macintosh review. I hope you all like my new filming area and the way I'm filming now with the lamp and my phone. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more. Bye everypony!